May you find happiness and peace. And may your home stand the test of time. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. Today I'll be reacting to Charlie K. Kroon's naive leftist student. So without further ado, let's get started. You guys are socialists, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. can you tell me how's it going in Venezuela, yeah, really, Cuba, or any of the... Really not in this conversation. Well, you're, 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 you're handing out propaganda about me so we can have a conversation on public space about it however we wish, so... Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to have a conversation. Can I see your poster? That's, that's nice. That's really good. <laughs> that's good. So, uh, so I do have a question. Why is it that uh, socialism has resulted in the death of 100 million people over the last 100 years after it's been tried 100 times? Would that be a good record of success? So then you should have a pretty good answer then. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I should. But, yeah. what, what is your answer? Um, well, honestly, I think that most socialist experiments, whether it be like the Soviet Union, like following the Bolshevik Revolution, or in Cuba, following the Cuban Revolution, I think a lot of like what has happened there, like people point to famine and exiles and so forth, like these are products of like imperialist interventions and embargoes from other capitalist nation states. So who embargoed the Soviet Union? Um, I. Because the Soviet Union was an imperialist nation. Yes, yes. yes. So it was the opposite. The Soviet Union yes. tried to spread communism to Zimbabwe, India, Afghanistan, yes. Pakistan, yes. Korean Peninsula, yes. Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia. So they were the imperialists. Yeah, yeah. Well, so was the United States. Well, I'm not, I'm not arguing against our foreign policy, but yeah. I'm saying yeah. who, who, who was embargoing the Soviet Union? Well, the famine in the Soviet Union was mostly caused by environmental factors, although the Holodomor was definitely the fault of Stalin for misdistributing resources. Do you think Lenin was a good guy? Yes. You think Lenin was a good guy? Yeah, absolutely. So the million people he killed was like a rounding error? He killed millions of people. He killed one million people. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I would, I'd like to see proof of that, but yeah, sure. Well, you could read the Gulag Archipelago and first-hand accounts of the mass extermination that Lenin okay. put in, in yeah, yeah. place. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to see, because this happened under Lenin, actually. Lenin and then Stalin, so, sure. Do you know how many people die every year because of starvation caused by global capitalism? And no, actually, starvation rates have gone down to the lowest level ever. Global poverty has reached below 10% for the first time ever. More kids are in school. Vi violent crime is dissipating. We have an obesity problem, not a starvation problem in America. More kids are able to get the nutrition they need. Life expectancy has gone up dramatically. Life expectancy in year 1900 was 45. Now it's 80 in America for women and 78 for men. So the world's a better place thanks to freedom of markets. Poverty is, is disappearing and diminishing thanks to thanks to people being able to make choices they see fit. And neoliberalism has worked out so well for Chile, as you can see. Actually, Chile is the richest per capita country in the South America, unlike Venezuela. And the most unequal country in Venezuela. No, it's most socially mobile, actually. So let's talk, about, let's talk about South America, Venezuela, and Argentina. Is Venezuela a good example of your ideology? No, um, no, no. I'm, is the United States a good example of your ideology? Better than Venezuela. Sure, we're the richest, most benevolent, most creative, generous country ever to exist. So I have a question. If America's so bad, would you guys accept an all-expense-paid all permanent trip to a socialist country of your choice? Okay, Venezuela or Cuba? Which yes, one? Absolutely. Uh, let's do Venezuela. Okay. Yeah, that's a hot topic, right? Great. Okay, so average Venezuelans lost 17 pounds. They're eating zoo animals. They got no Wi-Fi, cell service, no political freedom, and they're on the ver you know, brink of civil war. Does that sound like a good country to you? Yeah, I would love to join the fight. Yeah, sure. The fight for. For socialism. Oh, okay. Because they're already socialist. Yeah. <laughs> Just for, making for a revolutionary workers' party. A revolutionary. So isn't that what Venezuela has? Oh, I mean, no. Oh, so what is Maduro then? Oh, Maduro is what he is. Well, I think we'd probably agree on that. But he's also a Marxist. Hmm. That, hmm. I doubt that. Okay. Well, he believes in universal health care. You guys believe in that. Na nationalization of fossil fuels. He did that. Can I ask you what, Confiscating the what guns. Your, what, like what your beliefs are as like a conservative. Sure, I believe that free markets and free people have made the world a significantly better place and that we live in the greatest country ever to exist in the history of the world and the Constitution is the greatest political document ever written. Okay, so I, I think for this I agree with Charlie. I agree with him 100%. So even if um, capitalism is kind of hard, you know, you have to go out there, fend for yourself, work for yourself, well, I feel that's the best way. It's, it's more rational because I, I wouldn't want to sit down and let someone work for me and I would just come and rip off for the person work for me. I think what Ali is saying is America have a high rate of obesity rather than people starving. So long as you are willing to go out there and put in the work, at the end of the day, you get something to eat. So that is, is common sense, you know. You eat where you work. You, you, whatever you work will provide, you know, means for you. If you want to be rich, you put in the work. If you want to be poor, then lie down and expect the government to do it for you. And I think that is what 
um, the difference between these two, you know, ideas, you know, one is saying everything should be there, you know, let let them be free. Like I mean, sorry, let them be take out take all the guns, and I think he made mention of you know take out the guns and um make the hospital free and all. But I feel like it's not going to work, you know. Yeah, we can subsidize price in in you know healthcare, you know, take government can pay majority of the costs, you know, due to the tax they're charging us, but taking away the price or making it completely free is going to, you know, affect us, you know, we might not take like value what we are getting, you know, it's just like, um, let's say we are, you're going to buy, let's say, um, food and you're selling it free. You won't take your, the quantity you will need to eat. You will just pack it because you feel like it's free. But when you are paying for it, you take what you feel you want, what you feel would satisfy you. And that is it. And so I agree with Charlie because if, if you want something for yourself, you have to earn it. And that is what I think capitalism is, is, is preaching. You know, you have to go out there, put in the work, and you you get you gain your results. You don't just sit down there and expect everything to just fall in place or everything should be neutral, you know. Um if you want that, then you need to go to the bush. You know, you make your own medicine, you get your own food, you do everything for yourself, you know, you just go to the forest and you don't know, live there, you know, live this civilization because what um, capitalism is doing is giving everyone opportunity to be the best version of themselves. Everyone is putting the work to make sure that yeah, the society, you know, is 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 better. You know, I'm I'm there. Let's say going to school to become a doctor. This person is there studying to become a nurse. Another person is studying to become an engineer. I mean, to become an engineer. You know, we are all you know putting the work, coming in different form to to grow a society. And I think it's better than we are expecting to receive equal pay for doing not equal job. I, I can't receive an equal pay with an engineer. An engineer cannot receive an equal pay with a doctor. So it, it shouldn't be an equal pay. It should be pay. It should be that people have to make money based on the, the impact they make in the society. Okay? If you put a reasonable impact and your impact deserve a good amount of money, you'll be paid that. If you put little or no impact, you'll be paid little or no. So if you want to be rich, you put in more of the work. You dedicate more of your hours, you know, to provide, you know, what you need to, to provide for yourself and for your future you see now we have a system whereby men and women are working formerly it was just men men but now society feel like yes women can work too so they have been given the opportunity to work because two heads are better than one so when when two people in a family decide to go out and work the family become more and more richer you know they can easily go on vacation they can easily get things that they need because now two people are trying to bear the financial burden of the family not only one person that is what you see Socialism, I mean, sorry, capitalism is, is, is portraying, is portraying a system whereby everyone is putting in the work, okay? The more work you put in, the more returns you get. So, I don't like the idea of equal pay. Even in, in our educational sector, the more you teach or the more experience you get, the higher your pay is. So, the more you put in the work, the more you learn your, you, you learn your skill, the more you advance yourself, the higher your pay is. And that is how life should be. I, I don't want to just wake up one morning and... I'm going to the office, contributing nothing in the office, and at the end of the month, I'm expecting them to pay me a big share of money. No, you have to put in the work to gain, you know, the reward. Anyway, this is a beautiful one. I enjoy how Charlie was able to, you know, talk to these guys, let them see the reason why what he's doing is right. If you have any recommendation, let me know in the comment section. If it's your first time visiting the channel, click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I remember this.